and we're off. Day 129. <clears throat> it is so humid you can see it. Oh yeah, it shows up in my beam on the screen. You can even see your breath, which is weird because it is warm and moist. I can actually see the water droplets in the air. It's just after 4 a.m. We're on good track right now. We did some synchronized pooping this morning. Got that out of the way. <clears throat> if we do a decent amount today, because it is mostly flat, but you know, we are in Roxylvania. But if we do 23, we get to the 501 shelter, which is a rather nice shelter. It's more like a house, it has a shower. Back in the day, you could order food and have it delivered there. I don't know if those things have changed. I believe it even had electricity, but I'm not 100% on that. But it does have a solar shower. So that means there's something somewhere. So a shower probably means there's a light bulb in that shower. And if there's a light bulb, I can get electricity. That's if we do 23. We haven't done 23 in a, in a while. Pretty much since it got really hot. I think we did one in 20 plus days since it's been really hot. All the others have been hovering around 20. But we'll see what terrain allows. At least I started off right with a coffee and a safety meeting today. All right, let's get to it. It was very calm yesterday too. The birds stopped singing for hours. Thought a storm was coming in, but now we never got more than sprinkles, which was great. It has that same feel today. Very stagnant. Feels less humid than it was a half hour ago, so that's nice. Birds will be waking up for another hour or so. Unless we wander by a whipper whirl. Those things never sleep. Hoping the rocks don't slow us down too much today. It would be nice to order a pizza tonight. While I'm not hungry at all right now, I know I will be ravenous by then. It's all dependent on terrain. 23 miles is, you know, it's a decent day, not huge. But if I'm slowed down to less than two miles an hour, it makes it a hard day. But, you know, if there's going to be rocks everywhere, at least it's mostly flat today. I think over that 23 miles, we only go up like two or three thousand. That's a whole lot of nothing. Sure, I'll think different while I'm doing it. But right now, while I'm doing a cruisy downhill in the dark, I can say that's nothing. Yellow Springs poop. Yellow poop. Old village ruins.
sound like he was right around here somewhere. Barely. No, the they pick up more. Spread out. She is big. She is a beast. It is like a hundred percent humidity out. I can see my breath. I think that's just because it can't absorb into the atmosphere anymore. That was a very big spider. I would not want to have one of those on my face. Luckily their webs are so big you can see it shining. But you have to have your headlamp on and on your head. Turns out a chest lamp doesn't really illuminate stuff the same. When I hold my light low or away from my face, it doesn't show the web nearly as well. Spider eyes don't show up either unless you have the light near your forehead or near your eyes. So if you're going out with a flashlight in your hand, you're probably not going to see nearly as much. The birds are awake. I'm being harassed by flies. I can't see them, but they're circling my head right at ear level. I caught one out of the air because I just randomly snatched by my ear. And after a hundred or so tries, I caught one of them. Crushed it, felt good about it. Got another one while I was on top of my head. Because they sit on your head every once in a while. You can feel them land and if my hair is exposed, they actually get caught in it. I don't know why, it's not like I'm doing sudden motions, it's just all of a sudden, boom, they're caught in my hair and I take advantage of that. But this time it just sat on my head and I got it. And now I've got another one. I don't know what they're all about, but they just circle you, try to annoy you. I don't want to kill them. I was really hoping to catch one and you know, throw it in a spider web, but not enough of those. That's why we have so many flies. The world needs more spiders. I like spiders. Especially webbed ones, man. They're not going to bother you. You stay out of their web, they'll stay off of you. Those flies are harassing 12 in exactly the same way. She caught up to me and she's like, hey, can you kill this fly that's bothering me? I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, I've got my own. They're just something we have to live with. Because if you catch and kill one, another one replaces it in 30 seconds. So what's the point? They don't seem to be biting or anything, so they're just humming. Even when they land on your pack. They hum the whole time. I can hear one humming on me right now. I don't know exactly where it's at because their hum is hard to locate. Maybe because there's multiples, I don't know.
Maybe when the sun comes up, they'll go away. Being harassed by little bugs. Bullies. We're not making bad time. It's a little before 6.30 and we're about five and a half miles in. I got surprised second poop all brewing. Came out of nowhere. I prefer to get those things one and done. But hey. We haven't taken a break yet, so I guess it's about time. There is a shelter coming up with a privy, but it's a blue blaze. I don't feel like taking the blue blaze, so I'm just gonna do my use. Do like shit in a privy. I ain't digging in this ground. Don't, kid, don't even kid yourself. I don't even bring my shovel with me when I go out. I'm turning a rock. You're not digging a hole in this. I don't care who you are. You have too much toilet paper. That is all you can find is those jumbo rolls. What happened to normal sized toilet paper rolls? I, I can't even find those anymore. I don't need a freaking jumbo roll. It takes up way too much space. Oh, first world problems. Took a nice 15, 20 minute break. Filtered some water, slammed a liter. Carrying a liter on my chest. It's only like five and a half miles to the next water. Well, it only could be like this all day. This is nice. And then I'll fast forward a couple of hours, I'll be dripping sweat all over some big ass rocks. But it's mostly flat. <laughs> so there's always a caveat. Two little ones. Hey, buddy. Evidently, there's a little beaver dam area. You'll talk about flooding, but it's easy to cross. Blah, blah, blah. I 
feet are already wet from the grass anyway. <laughs> okay, I made it through that with relatively dry shoes. I never stepped in the water, but the grass is wet, so. Okay, so back the way I came, water crossing, beaver dam ahead. Right, there was no warning of that on my side. It did say beaver dam, but it didn't tell me there was an alternate dry route. Why would it tell me that on the exit? Thanks, guys. Everything's got some thorns. Probably not the best place to be in my underwear, but it's already hot. Ow! Oh, man. Ouch. Be gentle. Yeah, I wore the wrong outfit for this. It's kind of crazy how desolate it got, uh, devoid of through hikers. Now, we did talk to the ranger guy yesterday, and he said there was 20 ahead of us. And we just ran into a dude slack packing south named Rip, and he says he's got a group of a dozen or so behind us. So I was kind of excited to meet new people, and I'm like, I'd rather, I mean, given the option, I think I'd rather not just stay in between the bubbles, run into people here and there. Dozens of a lot of people to be around for me. Vita said there was like six people back there, and I'd be like, oh, that sounds cool, but a dozen, that's a lot. torn. The AT is a people trail, <laughs> but at the same time, sometimes I don't want to be around people. It's just facts. I don't have to explain it. It's just how it is.
don't even know what I stumbled on there. These are bouncy. April 1999. Scenery is changing rapidly today. Make up your mind. Oh yeah, this seems legit, doesn't it? Walk that game blank. Nice. I slept here. I totally did. I spent the whole night. Oh, jeebs. I remember that. <laughs> What do we have here? We supply and more. 200 feet to stay us. What are us? What are us? Pizza, ice cream, cold drinks. Oh, you had me at ice cream. Well, this place instantly got less fun. Well, they got ice cream. A nice place. Signs let us in. We sat right there in the shade. They let us into that lock box there. They have a code. We called for it. Actually, 12 did. I wasn't even going to bother, but she did. I, I was nice, and I waited till I'm off the property before I have my safety meeting. I had two ice creams and a soda, totaling $5.50. That's not horrible. I mean, for the convenience, totally worth it. Had our lunches. And now back on, trying to make it to the 501 shelter. We got about 11 miles to do, and it's about noon. Seems definitely doable. Should be there by 6, I'm guessing, but we'll see. Terrain plays a lot to do with it, and it's hot. Oh, so hot. We built by the Berlin Iron Bridge Company. In 1890. Still looks damn good.
Rocks are just starting to get annoying, but they're not annoying yet. But this is kind of the beginning of it, where you think, ah, this isn't so bad. I can handle a couple days of this. But there's still flat places to put my feet right now, so I know it's not the worst of it. I'm assuming my memories have blown it out of proportion when I do that kind of thing, so... We'll see what's what. I remember a sea of dolphin fins frozen in stone. It looks like I got the climb part out of the way on this. I was steep as hell. Probably one of the steeper climbs we've done in weeks. Definitely starting to get rocky flavored, but it's still not the rocks yet. Gets you used to them, you know. Breaks you in a little bit. Every third rock's a wobbler around here. So I know what you're thinking. You're like, how can it get any more rocky than this? And it's not that it gets more rocky, it's that the rocks get annoying shaped. 
that are all on their sides. Not on the sides like how they are now, horizontal laying on their flat side. No, they're sticking straight in the air, thin side up. This, at least, I have places to put my feet. Am I still on the trail? Oh, I see a place. These are just rocks. The other ones are pain in the ass. I think. Old memories from a different man. Oh, hey, I get to go downhill for a bit. I was going to keep going this way. I love boulder fields. Yeah, they are kind of fun. That's not bad at all. Hey, there's a lookout over there. Little Mountain Overlook. I'm going to describe it to you, even though I've never been there. There's going to be some hills, and they're covered in what looks like maybe green broccoli or green shag carpeting. One of the two. Maybe a little of both. Yep. I had a Butterfinger that I've been wanting to eat, so I put it inside of my water, letting it freeze up, because I didn't want to carry it all the way down. Well, actually, I forgot to carry it all the way down, so after I got my water up, I was like, oh, hey, man, I'll just put my Butterfinger in there, and we'll call it good. I don't even need that water. I got here early, and I already had water, so I grabbed water for 12, because she's behind me somewhere. And I figured I might as well help her out. And we still got many miles to go before we're at that 501 shelter, so give her a little break. Okay, all watered up. We took like a 20 minute break. It's only four miles left and less than 100 miles of gain each, you know, 100 feet of gain each mile. Easy peasy. I'm kind of a little worn out. Rocks aren't the easiest thing to walk on. And even when there's not rocks, like you'd think this is a rock, I mean, it's still rocks. Bend your ankles in different directions all day long. It takes its toll. I'm not whining, just observing. Because the rocks haven't even really started yet. Hopefully the train's like this for the next four miles. That would be pretty groovy. I like the last few miles of the day to be the easiest. Downhill, smooth, well-maintained. Let's just keep this going. I like it. Lots of blind corners. Oh. Run, 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 run! <laughs> I almost died. Well, lucked out so far. The train has been rather nice. Only a mile to go, and it's mostly downhill. A little ahead of schedule, if anything. We were planning on getting here by like 6 or so. And it's 5.30. Don't know if the showers are on. There's comments saying they're off and then some saying they're on. Or some saying they were going to be turned on today, but yeah, that was several days ago, but no update since then. I'm hoping the no news is good news. So I wouldn't mind getting a little shower. Maybe order a pizza, take a shower. Maybe I'll have service, we can watch a movie. Pizza and a movie. 
off the little things. It would be nice. Okay, I had to say it out loud. So now I got rocks. But I like rocks, so I don't care. It's less than a mile of them. Can't get me down in less than a mile. I love rocks. I wish there was more of them. All sideways, like shark fins. Call these rocks. Yeah, I think climbing over knapsack coal kind of jaded me for rocks. But we'll see. If you climb that thing, man, just walking on some rocks, it might be annoying, but... Yeah, it's about as far as it gets. You blaze anywhere? Me neither. Wobbler. Yep. Almost there. People suck. Oops, backtracking. Evidently I overlooked the blue blaze. Probably really obvious, but I didn't see it. Yep, it's pretty obvious. Yep, big dummy. As I was coming up to the shelter, this little beast right here came running at me all barking. He came up and sniffed me and decided I was all right. There's another hiker here. Double time, I believe his name was, and that's Close Call, I want to say the dog's name is. He hiked last year, and he's just putzing around, killing time while he's got time to kill. So it looks like he'll be staying here tonight as well. I made it to the 501 shelter. It's right over there. I was going to try the hammock inside, but there just wasn't anything far enough to do it. So this is Camp Crawler tonight. We're going to sleep in tomorrow. We did a 23 at a point something or another day today. And, you know, it's not rough, but we deserve our beauty sleep. So that's what we're going to do. I am in disarray.